I received a tutorial request uh, on how I used machine learning to find the optimal pick angle uh, for picking up an uh, object with a robot. This was part of my pick place and weld automation project, uh, which I recently posted. So the way this works is by using Galapagos, uh, which is which comes uh, by default with Grasshopper. And as you can see, it works away here and tries to find the optimal angle to pick an object at. Um, this is done by using a boundary box. So if I show you the bounding box here, um, and play this again, you will see how it tries to find the box with the smallest volume to optimize this. So I'll go ahead now and make a new file and show you how this is done. Okay, so I've got a new setup. The first thing I'll do is select this component, just give it a random location and I'll give it an angle of 34.567, so 34567, it's easy enough to remember. So we'll double click the canvas and select geometry and right click it and import this geometry into Grasshopper. So I'll hide this, give us a bit of extra space. Ideal. So we've got our geometry imported. Now we'll double click again and find the bounding box component. And here it is. So we'll connect those two and we can see to find this angle, there'd be two ways we could do it. We could rotate the geometry inside the box and the box would then adapt to the geometry or we could rotate the box around the geometry. So the geometry is going to be fixed um, and the robot's going to be picking it. So what we're going to do is rotate the bounding box around this geometry. And to do that, we will set a plane. So the pick plane is going to be X, Y, um, because it's not inclined. It's just on a flat surface. Um, otherwise, you'd need to make a plane for that. Um, so we'll call this just X, Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this plane and then feed that into the bounding box to rotate it. So we'll get the rotate component and connect that plane to the angle, to the geometry and the plane and connect the geometry to the bounding box plane. So this is going to be rotated plane. And I'll just call it that. Now the angle takes in radians as we can see. So let's look for the radian component. I'll just call it rad, so we can have it nice and neat here. And we'll hook that in. So um, we need to put in a value, like we'll make a slider from minus 90 to 90, and we'll give it some decimal points. So that's gonna be our angle in degrees. And we'll put it into the radian component to convert it to radians for the component. And we can see now that we can rotate the plane. Uh, I'll um, disable the preview on this. We can rotate the plane and the bounding box will rotate with it. So that's ideal. This is the, the plane that we're rotating and the bounding box will update automatically. So there's a bit of an issue here. Um, while this would be enough to optimize the pick angle, we want to send um, the rotated plane to the robot. Um, so what we can do is we can find, if I disable the preview for this, we can find the center point of this um, component. Now the volume uh, component in Grasshopper has a center point that it finds. The only problem with this component, as you can see, is, well, it has found a point that's close to the center. Maybe it's not noticeable, but there's this hole here. So the component is calculating more volume here. So this point is actually gonna be moving um, in this direction, which is not what we want. So we can again use a bounding box to get rid of that hole and any inconsistencies and connect that in to the, I'll hide this. And if we look at the volume uh, at the center point, when we connect the bounding box, you can see it moves closer to this point. So it gets rid of that error. That's because the bounding box is completely solid. So we've got this and we can call this um, center point. Perfect. And we'll just, not volume, we'll rename this as center point. So now from the center point, we want to move it to this top surface for the pick location, which our plane will um, finally be at. So what we want to do is we'll deconstruct the box, deconstruct box, and the Z component, we've got the X, Y, and Z of this box. The Z is gonna be the height of this component. So we want to move it up by half of its height, obviously. 
So um, at the moment, if we have a look, this is given as a domain. So from 0 to 25 is the height. We want this to be just a number. So we're going to select number and we'll just plug that in. So we've got 25 and we want half of it. So we can just um, right click on it, go to the expression editor and go X divided by 2. And it's going to divide the input here 25 to um, by 2. So that will give 12.5. So now we know how much to move it by. So we can just get the move component and we can connect the center point to that. So it's already moving in the Z axis by 10, we can see. Um, let's get the unit Z um, for the axis. So that's going to be the direction we're moving it in and connect it. Now we can see it's only moving by one. So if we connect the 12.5 here, um, that's going to be um, the the top of the, of the box as we'd expect. So we can um, organize this a bit better. Uh, let's call this um, top point. Um, copy that. And then that's going to be the top point. Perfect. So now all we have to do is, as you can remember, um, we started off with this plane and its origin is in the world origin. So zero, zero, zero. We're going to move it. Um, we're going to plug this point in. So as you can see now, it's, um, I'll hide this. It's moved um, the, this plane, it's moved to the top surface. And so if I show the rotated one, we can rotate that and it stays on the top of the surface. So that's a lot better. So I'll hide the points and I'll hide the plane. Now we've got the bounding box. So how do we optimize this? So we've got the angle um, and we've got the plane. So this will essentially be the pick plane. So that will be the location you're sending the, the robot to. So um, um, I usually just make a blob um, for these kind of um, planes because um, I know that that's going to be a command for the robot. So we've got the pick plane. Um, now we just want to find the angle for this plane for the robot. So the way we can do this is we'd obviously want it to pick it up at a location like this. Um, so I'll hide the plane and this bounding box we want to find we can see there are about two locations. There's minus 50 something and then there's um, 35 point something. If we remember it was 34.567. So um, what we can do is we can get into the machine learning aspect of it now. We'll double click and find Galapagos, which is Grasshopper's machine learning component. And it's got two um, parameters. It's got um, the genome and fitness. So genome, it, genome is what you want to modify, what you want to optimize. And we want to optimize the angle. So we'll connect that to that. And we want to do it according to what? We want to measure how well um, the um, angle is performing. And we want to find the smallest bounding box possible. So we can go and get the volume component connect that to the bounding box. And now we've got the volume of it. So we can just connect the fitness. Notice you can't connect it from the component to Galapagos. You have to go from Galapagos to the component. So we're now going to take the, we're going to modify the angle and see what the volume is. And we want to minimize that volume. So if we double click here, at the moment set to maximize, so we'll find the biggest volume. So if we set it to minimize, that will find the, the smallest volume. We can set a threshold here like to 0.1 or whatever, but I'll just leave it empty for now. We'll go into solver. So if we now look at the angle, um, I'll start the solver. Actually, um, I'll give it a weird angle to start with. Um, so here, something like that, just so you can see it move. Um, now, if we go into the solver again and st start the solver, you can see now it's slowly finding um, the optimal value for it. And um, yeah, I'd say that's probably enough. Um, if we go and add um, 90 degrees to this, if you remember every 90 degrees, it will find an angle. Uh, you can see it now if we go up 90 degrees, it will find another optimal angle. So if we add 90 degrees, we can see, um, we can see here, 
54.567, which was exactly what we um, input. So another way to show you guys this is if we modify this and we just say the minimum is zero, um, it will only have 90 angles to rotate. So it will only find, as you can see, one point. So again, if we set this to 90, go back into the Galapagos editor and start the solver, we'll let that run a bit and we'll stop it there. And 34.567, so incredibly efficient, very fast. Um, and yeah, you can see here is the bounding box. This is the original geometry, so they're pretty much identical. Um, so that will basically allow you to find the ideal angle. So this is basically to run the simulation and um, this will basically uh, be your plane. So that plane, as you can see now, it's been rotated. I'll show you one last time. Set it here. Uh, go to the solve and start it. Uh, so you can see that plane rotating um, with the bounding box and it will find the ideal location for the robot to pick the object at. So um, that's basically how I did it. Um, I don't know if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, I'll be making more tutorials. Uh, so if you want to be updated on those, uh, just hit the subscribe um, button on my under this video and um, and activate the notification for it and you'll receive an email or something um, for when I post new content. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next tutorial.